Good morning, welcome to a new NYNJPA weather video discussion for September 26, 2012. It is a Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. As you can see, we are much warmer than what we were yesterday, and that's because we have a much more humid air mass in place over the northern mid-Atlantic for today. Don't get used to it, though. Temperatures throughout the region range from the upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior with our cool spot once again around Messina and along the coast ranging from the mid 60s to upper 60s and our dew points are also increasing in the mid to upper 50s. So what could we expect for today? Well a continued increase in cloud cover and a good bet for scattered showers and maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. So let's take a look at this weather forecast. First and foremost, we're using the water vapor satellite picture. Of course, my favorite satellite picture I like to use to really break down the atmospheric pattern that is developing. And as you can see, we have two distinct jet streams in place here. We have our polar jet stream with a very impressive upper level trough digging into the Great Lakes. And we have our subtropical jet stream with plenty of moisture developing over the uh, Southern Plains, the Mississippi River Valley, building into the Tennessee and Ohio River Valleys. And that moisture is driving to the east and interacting with our polar trough. So what we can expect is that our cold front with the polar jet stream here is going to drive to the east and increase the potential for scattered showers for today, possibly even an isolated thunderstorm. Now the winds at the mid-levels are rather strong, ranging anywhere from 50 to 60 knots. And some of those winds could potentially be brought down in an isolated thunderstorm producing some gusty winds. Otherwise, we're looking at a few scattered showers here and there throughout the day with increasing cloud cover and temperatures rising into the mid to upper 70s. Don't get used to this warm weather though, because once this cold front drops to the south of New Jersey by tomorrow morning, well, unfortunately, we're going to be on the cool side of this equation with disturbances like this one here and this one here and the other ones back to the west moving along the stationary front keeping us rather active with the potential for scattered showers each day and temperatures on the cool side but seasonable with temperatures ranging from the mid 60s to lower 70s. Our lows not moving all that much basically in the mid 50s to lower 60s. The constant threat here will be scattered showers and the rainfall potential, well, that could push over an inch in many locations. Taking a look at the infrared satellite picture, you can see there are a few breaks here and there in the cloud cover, but that's going to fill in throughout the day as more of this moisture that we see building over the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys drives to the east towards the mid-Atlantic. Looking at the moisture advection. Now, I like using this because it kind of gives you an idea of what's happening with the moisture and with the winds at 850 millibars. And as you can see, we have plenty of moisture pooling over the Ohio River Valley. And where is that all being directed towards? Right towards the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. That's why we can expect an increase in cloud cover and, of course, an increase in scattered showers throughout the northern mid-Atlantic. And when we take a look at the radar, you can see the scattered showers are, well, very scattered. But there's more showers to the west, and this is all going to start to fill in, and we're going to see more widespread showers as we move on through the next several days, as each one of these disturbances in the subtropical jet stream moves along this eventual stationary front over the northern mid-Atlantic. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance using the European model guidance from the Penn State EWOL website. Again, an excellent website for model guidance. We'll start at this evening. And as you can see, our cold front is approaching right here. It will move through tonight. Scattered showers will remain a threat. As you can see, we have plenty of moisture at the mid-levels of the atmosphere. Notice our trough here is digging over Quebec. And notice that this trough cannot dig any further south. That's why we're going to have a stationary front setting up to the south of New Jersey because this acts as basically a buffer for that for that cold front. So it can't move, move any further south, and we have these disturbances here moving along that cold front, and that's what's going to give, give us the threat for scattered showers. Moving on through the forecast period, again, these showers are not, wide, are not widespread in the form of heavy downpours every day. But as you can see with moisture in the atmosphere in place here, well, 
with any disturbance that moves through and with the boundary in place, that's going to lead us to the threat for scattered showers for today, of course, tomorrow, and as we move on through the rest of the week, again, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, these disturbances, and this one in particular, is going to intensify over the Great Lakes and over the northern Mid-Atlantic. And that's what's going to send these low-pressure systems along the stationary front through the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, producing scattered showers heavy at times, becoming widespread at times as we move on through the weekend. So it doesn't look like all that great of a weekend, but at least it's not terribly cold yet. Uh, basically, what we're seeing setting up here is a setup where we're going to continue to deal with these disturbances, overcast skies, scattered showers, and our temperatures basically ranging from the mid-60s to lower 70s for highs throughout the entire weekend. But there is some good news. By Monday, we start to see the bulk of the disturbances start to lift to the north, and we start to clear out by Tuesday with high pressure and control. Still cool, temperatures in the mid-60s to lower 70s for highs. Your warmest temperatures are, of course, going to be around the Philadelphia metropolitan area. A little bit cooler as you move into the northern interiors. But at the very least, high pressure is going to be in control. And that means by Tuesday, next Tuesday, we'll be drying out with crisp, cool air. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, you can always follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather at Twitter and Facebook. Have an excellent day. Stay safe out there.